Hello and welcome to the next episode of Robocop Rogue City. And today we're back on the mean streets of Detroit. We've got a few little missions to do today, so uh, let's get them on. And why this resets to the uh, laptop speakers every time, I do not know. Murphy, are you on your way to see Dr. Blanche? Yes. Let us hope I will not be slowed down by another cheering crowd. So, the preparations for the election are in full swing, huh? Fortunately, I am just by the hotel. Good. Keep me posted. We will do, Lewis. We'll do. I don't know what them two are doing. Um, there's a few uh, minor offences in the city to sort out. There's Dr. Blanche, which is a main quest. Uh, but first, let's go see Ulysses and help him with his little problem. I like the reflections there, they're really nice. That is some nice reflections game. Okay, uh, Ulysses is down here where we met the uh, old man earlier, um, but not as far. Just look at the... Murphy, good to see you. Multiple armed suspects have taken over the store. We gotta be careful. They got the owner inside. I am going in. You need backup. I'll take you, Ulysses. Remember your field training, Officer Washington. I won't let you down. You guys go ahead. I'll secure yeah, the perimeter. You've been a bit of a dick to him. I'm gonna show you how good of a cop he is. He's gonna back up Robocop. Oh, it's the maze poster. Maybe he actually knows him. Oh, it's just a regular campaign poster. Who knows? But, um, yeah. Let's, Let's start out the shop. Oh, here's something else. You really know your stuff. There's arm thugs in here. Just stay behind me, you Let's get him. <clears throat> No, they don't. Thanks for the cheerleading. See, he's a good kid. That Becker was just trying to use him for his own dirty deeds, but Robocop showed him the right way. And we've nurtured his growth on the police officer. <laughs> hey, we shot him in the nuts. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. Yeah, we got a skill point. Yeah, I put that one into engineering. Um, that does have passive effects on your stats of your weapon as well. So it's a good one to start uh, building up. Yeah, it, it, uh, messes with the efficiency of the chips. You wrecked my shot. Oh, God. What will my father say? Oh, Fish are gonna go bad. Oh, quit your whining, Pops. It's not like anyone can smell the difference. We're not gonna let that happen. We're gonna take these guys down. Open the door and come out with your hands up. Oh, shit, that's Robocop. Listen, you and your friends got it all wrong. You're not supposed to be here, pal. OCP doesn't button to this hood's business. And you're police on OCP's money. So you better scram if you don't want trouble. Uh, what reply did we pick? I can't remember. Perhaps I want trouble. <laughs> you don't know who you're messing with, you stupid toaster. I I've got a hostage here, and I'll blow his fucking brains out if you try anything stupid. Break the door! He's reloading! Nice one. Who's that? Yeah, though, just the one guy. There ain't an ounce of respect in those perps. There's nothing sacred to OCP. No. But I was wrong about you. You definitely more human than any of them OCP hyenas. <sighs> that was intense. It was. Good job, Officer Washington. Thank you, Robo. And we've increased his confidence again. He helped us out fine. 
On to the next crime. Because somewhere there is a crime happening. As Robocop once said. Now these fish can be sold. Yay. Didn't let them go to waste. Hey, Washington. That sounded like a proper gunfight. So how come you're still in one piece? I had a partner who had my back. Keep it up and I might just change my mind about you. Hmm. Now, uh, I'm thinking... I'll wrap this up, Robo. You can head back to I'm thinking office. you can get them guys to surrender if you pick one of the other options, but... I just felt like shooting them. <laughs> Alright, so she's there. There's a few random... Uh, parking ticket offences that we can sort out because it's still part of his police duty to enforce the law or give some good advice to some citizens who may be doing something wrong but we can tell them that it's alright this one time just don't do it again we'll let you off and that gives the Robocop a good reputation because he's not too hard but people like this Park in front of fire hydrants? That's dangerous. Yeah, uh, interesting fact about the fire hydrant I learned. Uh, the patent for it, uh, from the original designer, was lost in a fire. <laughs> Maybe someone parked in front of one. Who knows? Okay, let's move on. Yeah, so it looks like the city's getting ready for um, a, a mayoral campaign rally. Because the election is in a couple of days. It's been a thread through this entire game. And both sides have been trying to use Robocop for their own gain. I think it's this truck here leaking oil. I think this is second time we've ticketed him for this. Alright, there's uh, one more crime there. Your arguments against voting are baseless. As residents of this city, you have an obligation. Get lost, kiddo. I don't want them to unsuspend my sentence for beating up a snot like you. Are you going to say that in front of Robocop? <laughs> that kid's politically savvy. Maybe he'll be the next mayor one day. Uh, that guy sounded like the guy who voice Scoo. <laughs> uh, well, use your voice talent what you can. Which is uh, pretty cool, you know. For budget games, you have to budget somewhere. And a uh, big expense for this was uh, Peter Weller coming back to voice Robocop. So, uh, well done game. I'll allow it. No one's bathing in my fountain. Some bikers. Ah, public drinking. Drinking in a public place is against the law. I'm not drinking. I'm drunk already. And I am home. I will not issue a ticket. However, I recommend enrolling in the Homeless Help Program. I'm not homeless, so get out of my house. Yeah, you're homeless and deluded, but the point, no point for a homeless person in jail. Donny going to go back out and do it again. So trying to get him help there was the correct thing to do. And now maybe if it's a repeat offender, I might put him in the drunk tank for the night to sleep it off. But we tried to help. Yeah, 
there's quite a few cars around here. It's like this part of the city seems totally deserted. Wow, they used the same laugh twice in a row there. <laughs> Had it again a third time. Ah, it's a star owner. If Mills wins, I'll have to close up the store. And I think that guy lost his dialogue options. Uh, that might need patch fixing, uh, Teon. Unless you've already fixed it, then thanks from the future. Overall, made a pretty solid game. Anyone else? Yeah, I realised I walked past the uh, hotel door there. Yeah, so this will trigger some more events to do. Colorful flags and balloons, and you're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at eight. I am here to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by the hour hotel. People don't usually give names. Dr. Blanche is in her 50s, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room 405. Thank you, citizen. So, you aren't the real Robocop? Listen, if your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you, I'm sure I'll find someone younger that would be happy to help. You're trying to sell prostitutes to Robocop? <laughs> wow. It's a good job we've got more pressing matters. It's the kitty! Let's have a look around these floors. See if there's any uh, legal evidence as we're going. Some more, some back stairs here. Can't go down there. Ah, found some it. Man, that cat is loud. Ah, the floor bars are creaking under the rubber cops, wait. <laughs> and that's took us back to reception. Okay, let's go back upstairs. Oh, I don't know why I was wandering around here. I should have just gone up to the next level. Because all this is interconnected. Ooh, another open room. Ooh, some incriminating photos. We'll uh, take that as uh, evidence. Alright, so Dr. Blanche is down there. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, let's keep moving. She's on this floor. You can't go any further up. So I'd have like scoured this place from top to bottom otherwise. I like finding stuff. Right, that's the room she's in. Uh, that's just the back stairs, so. And not on that table. Anything down here? There. Okay, we're clear. Let's go in there. Room service! It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? 
OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No. But after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them, and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? Uh, we might as well, we've got time. I promised to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. Robocop keeps his I work. really appreciate it. You agreed to a non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? Yes. A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? As a human. That is correct. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? I like to think of myself as a person. It's great to hear you still stand by it. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine would bother to help a drug addict believe that there is a place for him in our society? Do you think a machine could teach a newly appointed officer what it means to be a real policeman? Or bring comfort to a suffering old man? Would an actual person glitch? We should make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. This is what makes you different from a machine. You should not fear them, but embrace them. But there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens. And it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is, you're not just a human, but an exceptional one, Alex Murphy. Don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor. Hey. Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. It's right there on the desk. And hopefully we've had a positive influence on the Doctor about machines. I have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? Oh! Oh! Our That's why I stood there, blocks the fire. Here she comes of course you are, you forget to go up. Yes. We need to move. <coughs> Lewis, there was an attempt on Dr. Blanche's life. Is she okay? Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. Yes, Lewis is a good person to help us. Follow me. And that's another reason I familiar with myself in this hotel. Because you'll have to escape when it's on fire. And uh, not all the rooms will be uh, easy to get. I will figure that out. Yeah, she's a bit far away from me, so I didn't quite hear what she said, but the subtitles caught it. Let's get back close. No, we should 
not stop. It's a dead end. We need to look for another way. I will make a way. Yay. I don't know how you're thinking of making a way, but you better do it. Robocop. Hey, bashful walls. I will make a way. Nice. Follow me. Nice work, Robo. Wow. I've seen messes here before, but not quite like this. Uh, We've made it. We did. I'm sure you should also cover that. Um, Anyway, we've cleared the hotel. The uh, doctor is safe, which I'm is good. I'm finally starting to understand. The shooting, the blood, seeing it firsthand, it puts everything into perspective. What I think I'm trying to say is thank you. My duty, madam. You're welcome, doctor. Anyway, on that note... So what now, Murphy? I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Safe from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. Anyway, that note, join us again next time for more Robocop Rogue City. Have a good day, everyone.